Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us here on SCCN. I'm Kevin Richard, and this is a look at your weather forecast for the Welland area. Over the next couple of days, take a look here. We're going to be seeing mainly cloudy skies today, but we're going to be seeing a few snow showers around the region. And today, it is going to be a bit on the chilly side, as we're not even going to be getting out of the 20s. 28 is your high today. Now, with that snow, we only have a 30% chance of it. Now, winds today are going to be out of the southwest at 25 miles an hour, which means it's going to feel a lot cooler than it actually is. What this has to do is with the wind chill index. Now, what is the wind chill index? Well, the wind chill index, it's a decrease in air temperature felt by the body due to wind. Very simple. When you go outside, like if you go outside today, you're going to feel it's a lot cooler. Now, how do we figure out what the wind chill is, what the feel like temperature is going to be? Well, that's done by this very complicated formula here. It's very complex, very complicated, but simply TWC is what the wind chill, what your final, what it's going to feel like out there. TA is your air temperature, which today the air temperature is going to be 28 for your high. And then V is your velocity, your wind speed, which is southwest at 25 miles an hour. Now let's take a look at what we're going to be expecting today for your wind chill. As we go in, your high today is 28 degrees, wind southwest at 25 miles an hour, which once it's put into that complicated formula, today it's only going to feel like it's 12 degrees outside. So make sure if you go outside, bundle up out there today. Let's take a look at the forecast for the night tonight. We are going to be seeing polyclad skies out there. 18 for your low, going to be very chilly out there. Wind southwest at 11 miles an hour, and we do have a 20% chance of snow. Moving on to forecast for your day tomorrow, we're going to be seeing partly cloudy skies out there, but again, we're not going to be warming up at all as 28 is going to be a high wind southwest at 11 miles an hour, making it feel like it is in the teens again and the chance of snow is still 10%. Take a look now at temperatures here in the state of Vermont. We are chilly out there as we are mainly in the 20s. We are seeing a few 30s like Burlington with 32, Middlebury 31. But other than that, we are in the 20s as we are seeing 28 in Bankton and here in Rutland, 29 in Springfield and up in Montpelier. And then up in Newport, we are seeing 25. As we zoom in here on Rutland County, again, we're all right under the 30 degree mark. We are seeing 30 in Brandon, but we're seeing 29 in Fairhaven all the way down to Paulette. And then in Rutland, and down in Wallingford, we are seeing 28. Take a look at the five-day forecast. Not too bad for weather-wise, as we are going to be seeing partly cloudy skies going into the weekend, but we are going to be seeing chilly temperatures out there, as we're only going to be in the 20s and in the mid-30s. So for the night on Wednesday, we are going to be seeing just a few snow showers out there, just a dusting out there, as lows are going to be 22. Thursday, partly cloudy, 34. That's one of the warmest days that we're going to be seeing this week. And then Friday, 29 for your high, and then 34 for your day on Saturday. But as we go into next week, we are going to be seeing temperatures getting up into the 50s. I'll have more information on that coming up later in the week right here on my daily weather updates that you can see by going to staffordonline.org. Go to the middle page, click on weather. I'm Kevin Witcher. Have a great day, everyone.